Do you have whole nuts anywhere? Where's my nuts? <laughs> knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. Right. I'll drop by for a while. Mr. Kate. I'll help you find your style. Mr. Kate. We'll laugh. We'll paint. I'm Mr. Kate. Yay! Oh, hey. About to go to the grocery store because I'm going to pick up some stuff for a holiday centerpiece. I'm just going to use everything that I get at the grocery store. We are in the grocery store and we're gonna find some stuff to decorate a centerpiece with. We're going in the back. Yeah! Walnuts. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, mixed nuts! Woo! Woo! I am all nutted out. This is gonna be one epic centerpiece. Okay, I got some candles from CVS. Ready to go. Okay, I've got all my stuff here at my place, and now it's time for the DIY portion of my Thanksgiving centerpiece. I'm going to embellish my candles by rolling them in some of the dried beans and split peas and stuff that I got. And then I'm going to make my veggies into candle holders by carving little spaces in them to stick some little tea lights in. Okay, so I'm taking my pillar candle. I'm using just regular craft glue, and I am going to use a paintbrush to apply it I want a very distinct line of the embellishment, so I'm just going to use this in sort of the center band. Okay, now for the next DIY portion, I'm going to take these beautiful vegetables and turn them into candle holders by just carving in a little space to put my tea light. What's great about the squash is it's so large and the tea lights are so small, so I'm going to carve the little holes for them. But then once I'm done using this as a candle holder, I could cut it in half and use the half that I didn't use for the candle holder to eat. I'm going to start with this tray I got at the Goodwill for $7.99. Beautiful, but I think it needs walnuts. No! 